She calls it designer hummus. Homegirl's hummus is crafted, handcrafted, and gourmet. It's where urban flair meets tradition. Founder and owner Nyla O joins us now to share the recipe for her easy, sweet, and smoky falafel pita wrap. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. I mean, your food visually is beautiful. Because we and, eat with our eyes, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and you're making it healthy, too, because Adam started out of necessity, correct? You know, I um, had tried a hummus that I really enjoyed, and I want, was craving it one night, and I'm like, I can't get to Milwaukee to get this hummus. Let me figure this out. And then what I made was better than what I was craving. Oh. And so that was the start of me saying, you know what? One day I'm going to call it. I'm going to start a company called Homegirls Hummus um, because I'm everybody's best friend. Okay. I have a marketing background. It was really nice uh, play on words. And so, yeah. Okay. And also, I find it that you're wearing green. That's very telling in your story because the hummus you were looking for was a green hummus, correct? And I call it prosperity. Yeah. And so okay. green is now my color. It's the color of prosperity and joy and things like that. So, All yeah. right. All right. So you're going to make, we have some designer hummus, mm -hmm. right? And we are making a wrap. Tell us a little bit about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So um, first I will tell you about making hummus for people who, you know, don't necessarily want to go to the store and eat some of the hummus that's more bland and has all the preservatives in it. You can kind of control what you do with your hummus and put what you want in there, uh -huh. craft it yourself, make it your own. Okay. Um, and so I want to show you guys how to make like a basic hummus recipe okay. and add a little bit of flair to it. So we start off with two, um, like 15.5 cans of chickpeas. Or you can boil your own chickpeas and do your own thing. You know, it doesn't matter. It whatever your preference is. Okay. And then we're gonna add a little bit of I like Himalayan pink salt. Yeah. So I'm gonna yes, add a little add bit a of that. Very nice flavor to some did, right. did you rinse those chickpeas too? Or just all I them didn't in? rinse them. Okay. I honestly like to have the aquafaba on there. Okay. I like the taste of it. So um, and it only enriches the flavor of the hummus. Okay. Some people use water as the liquid. Mm -hmm. Some people use ice to make it fluffy. Some people use the aquafaba. It's really up to you. Okay. okay. You know? Mm -hmm. But you um, just pour most of the the water off of mm -hmm, uh, most of the aquafaba. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to add some garlic. I love garlic. Yes, so me too. Some people say six cloves. Some people say 12 cloves. It just depends on what you like. Okay. But I, I like garlic. Good okay. Okay. Yeah, and, right. it's, and it's an antimicrobial, and it's, it's good for you. Yeah. So there's that. So now we have our lemon juice, you know. Okay. Fresh squeeze. I like fresh squeeze. Yeah, okay. And then we like 100% pure olive oil. Okay. Um, that's going to make a difference in the flavor. Mm. Um, extra virgin is great. When you look, go in the stores, look for the ones that says um, it's used for marinades or salad dressings. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then those are the ones, it has a really good flavor to it. Okay. okay. All right. That's good to know. Yeah. So, and if you want to get fancy and don't just want to do a plain hummus, you can do something like adding sun-dried tomatoes. Okay. Oh. So I'm going to pop a couple of these in there, but you can really get creative and do whatever you want to do yeah. with your hummus. Okay. That's fun. So, and that's it. Yeah. It's super simple. You know, you put it on your, your home blender. And that's the finished product right there in front, right? The finished product is, this is our most popular hummus that's our Chicago style. Okay. okay. So once it goes down, it's a plain basic hummus, or in this case, the uh, sun-dried tomato hummus. Okay. And then once you're done with it, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. You can use it as a sandwich spread. You can um, just eat it with chips and veggies. You know, I take my hummus sometimes and I'll add it to a pasta salad. Oh. Um, or I'll add it to uh, warm pasta, and then I'll use it as like a sauce. I love and I may that. add it with some dice, a can of dice tomatoes, things like that, um, just to give it a little bit more fiber, a little bit more protein. Okay. And you don't always have to use chickpeas as no. your base. You right? can use cannellini beans. You can use any kind of white bean. Um, black I eyed added, peas? This is, um, the black eyed pea hummus is a mixture of the chickpeas and the black eyed peas. Okay, okay. I like that. Mm -hmm. And right. it's really nice and really smoky. Okay. So to get started with our recipe, mm -hmm. we're going to take our pitas, we're going to warm them up in a skillet. Warm pita and hummus is like the <sighs> dream. Die for it, yeah. Yes, cold so hummus, good. warm pita, it's like a marriage made in yes. heaven, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, then we're going to make a warm dressing. So what we would do is we would add our Italian dressing and some garlic and some maple syrup in here, hence the sweet and the savory, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. And then we're going to add a couple teaspoons or okay. tablespoons of our black eyed pea hummus because we want to make sure that it's flavorful throughout. People think that vegan eating or plant-based eating is boring, but the reality is 
if you don't season, just like you would season your meat, uh -huh. yeah. then you're not going to get the flavor that sure. you want. Right. Okay. So you want to make sure that you add the proper seasonings and um, really season through every step. You don't have to make it like extra salty. There's so many other spices besides yeah. salt. Yes, yeah. there you is. Know? Sure you got are. cumin, you got coriander, you got like so many different things. Real quickly, how do you make the green hummus? So the green hummus is our spinach jalapeno hummus. Oh, mm -hmm. that's really good. And we yeah. love that. And it's just hot enough that? to wake you up. Absolutely. Okay. But it's not super spicy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Okay, I'm gonna try the black eyed pea hummus. Yeah, it's mm. really good. It's nice and rich mm. and smoky. That is delicious. Thank and you. Like most people that don't like hummus end up loving your hummus. Well, number one, my hummus is tahini free. Mm. So the sesame paste that's in traditional hummus, mm -hmm. we don't use it. Number one, when I started making hummus, I knew I wanted to make all these flavors. And tahini is an element to me in hummus that makes every hummus taste the same. Oh, if great. I'm gonna go through the problem of making different flavors, I want them to taste unique. And I want you to be able to taste the fact that we use fresh squeezed lemon juice, mm -hmm. that we're using 100% pure olive oil, that we're using fresh garlic and a lot of it. And so once you take the tahini out, you can actually taste everything yeah. that's mixed yeah. with the chickpeas because chickpeas have a pretty clean flavor. Yeah, because you got, so that's the, that's the wrap, right? We're going to finish right that's there. That's one of our wraps. This is like the maple jerk uh, mushroom wrap. Okay. Ooh. This is a veggie sandwich. So just showing you guys, this is our beet hummus. It's our roasted red pepper hummus. But just showing you that it doesn't have to be boring yeah. when you're eating plant-based. So once we uh, mix up everything for the dressing, then we're going to add our lettuce to it and coat the lettuce. Okay. And then I'm gonna come over here to our falafels. Now, as I said, you can use store-bought falafel or you can um, you can make your, you know, get a falafel fix, mix or make your own, or you can go to the store, yeah. you know, or a restaurant and get a falafel. Where can we find you? So you can find me at homegirlshummus.com. And then my favorite place to reside is 2020 Instagram Lane. Okay. I am always on Instagram, I'm always going live, and I'm always inspiring and, and uplifting people. And I tell people where I'm gonna be. So we do farmer's markets throughout the city. That is you know, so and exciting. I love the farmer's markets because you get to hear in real time how much people like yeah. the product. Oh my right. goodness. Check her out on her social media handles and her website as well. Lots of different options.